This is a well-executed attack using the ground, moving rapidly. When you hear the noise of a tank, it's incredibly difficult to know exactly where it is. And certainly here, they are operating exactly as it should be. My name's Colonel Hamish Breton Gordon. I commanded the British First Royal Tank Regiment and have commanded tanks at uh, platoon level, at squadron level, and at regimental level, and have spent the last 33 years of my life on the battlefields of the globe. What we're about to see now is Ukrainian tank troops attacking defensive lines. This is all part of the Ukrainian counteroffensive to break through the very thick, solid Russian defensive lines, and this is how they're doing it. Now, here we're seeing some uh, a tank attack by um, Ukrainian tanks. Looks like a probably a T-72 to me, maybe a T-64. Really good movement here. The, these people are spaced out and they're using the ground. They're going through the woodland and attacking um, enemy positions. And uh, that is, uh, you know, from what we've seen of the Russian tank uh, operations. We're also throwing a lot of smoke. You're seeing... Now, these come out as either smoke grenade discharges from the tank, or they can fire it um, fuel into the engine to make this smoke. The other thing that we're seeing them doing here is what we call jockeying. So once you fired a few rounds, you then need to get out of position because the enemy might have acquired you in, in their sight picture. But if you move backwards or to the side, um, you will uh, get out of their round. Looking inside the tank, yeah, again, looks really clean, well-maintained, and, and keep moving, keep pushing forward, uh, not staying in the same place. And, and as we can see, using the valley here, so very difficult to, to be seen. I must say, hitting the barrel on tank on, on trees, not a great idea, um, but uh, if you can't avoid it, then, then that's tough. You can knock them out of alignment. We're seeing this is an autoloader, um, the British... And German tanks, Leopard 2 and Challenger 2, you actually have a crewman loading the tank. Uh, it's quicker with an autoloader, but you can't carry as much ammunition. Again, firing, moving quickly forward to a position. You'll also see the commander's machine gun there on the right, putting suppressive fire onto any infantry who might come out with a handheld anti-tank weapon, moving back out of the way. These engagements are fairly close, you know, probably only three, 400 metres. Uh, we know that the Challenger 2 tank is accurate up to three kilometres, and that's how it's been used. Uh, but this is a very good um, example of good tank manoeuvre uh, going on. They're ne never still, always moving around. So the enemy cannot acquire them uh, and start to take them out. And using their own smoke to cover their movement because um, the enemy won't be able to see them. So again, working in pairs, a like, bit like an infantry, one person on the ground, the other moving, and now uh, all moving in, in unison. Uh, you know, this is not easy. This takes a lot of training and a lot of experience. And all the while uh, looking around, searching for the enemy. Um, again, going using the ground, going through the woodland here. We saw the Russians uh, just out in the open, easy pickings. Uh, but this looks like a a well-executed, uh, probably platoon, maybe even a squadron, maybe up to sort of 10 tanks involved in this, but uh, a very good example of a tank, platoon, or even company attack. When, when tanks attack, it's very similar to, you know, infantry attacking on the ground. Uh, when you've got three or four tanks, as we saw then, all firing 125 millimeter and machine guns, each tank has two machine guns. The weight of fire is incredible. The noise is is absolutely ear splitting and if you don't have you know ear protection you know that that will deafen you for minutes or so but uh, as they're coming around no doubt they're also supported by artillery fire and using their own smoke discharges and also smoke from the engines to cover their movement you know th this is pretty slick um this is a well executed attack using the ground moving rapidly staying all the time, uh, not in the one place and getting around. That This to me is a, a well-drilled uh, group of tanks that look have successfully have taken the position that they set out to do.
Very interesting we see here another tank attack. But look at the camouflage on the tank, uh, not just on the barrel, but, but also around it. Um, that's the first time we, we've seen some real attempt to cover. And again, inside the autoloader, so this is a T-72 or T-80, old Russian tank, not, not a British or German one. Um, again, everything looks up, up and, um, and significantly well. Again, it's difficult country they're going through, but uh, the tank is using the terrain really well, putting down a really heavy weight of fire, which uh, is impressive, supported by another one, and uh, and going into the sun. Now, that will make life a little bit uh, more difficult, but, um, you know, they'll take account of it. Moving back here, we caught this way we're jockeying. He's fired a few rounds. He's moving back rapidly, throwing some smoke as well to give um, to give him cover. Artillery coming in, but of course in the tank, not a problem. You know that is not going to affect it. But if it was infantry on on the ground, they'd be in serious problems. So this is really showing the tank at its best, cracking on through artillery fire using the ground. Uh, to attack positions with a really heavy weight of fire. When a tank is used properly using the ground, it's very difficult to pick up. Um, if you think the infantry are right close down in their trenches, um, to, to, to get up with any sort of uh, binoculars, they, they need to expose themselves. And uh, when camouflaged and when using the ground, it, tanks are very difficult to pick up, especially at night. Um, although, you know, the, they make a noise, engines are very noisy. Actually, the noise of battle you know, far outweighs it. So it is surprisingly difficult to to pick them up. Um, when they're out in the open, they stick out like a sore thumb, not a problem. But the way that we've seen these Ukrainian tanks being used, it is surprisingly difficult uh, to, you know, anything over a few hundred meters to pick them up. And also very disorientating. When you hear the noise of a tank, it's, it's, it's incredibly difficult to know exactly where it is, especially when you've got artillery going off, you've got tank fire, you've got machine gun fire. So, yeah, they they can use cover like infantrymen. And um, and certainly here where we I, I can't see any of the tanks being taken out, uh, they are operating, you know, at really top of their game, exactly as it should be.